Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to HobbyKing.com. Stuart here with a daily, not on a plane per se, but on a great accessory and essential actually for planes, especially float planes. This is something that already uh, ships with the Color Tundra and the original Green Tundra now. It will also ship in the new Avios uh, Bushmule and in future uh, Avios releases that uh, utilize floats as well. What could it be? Well. It's not an ESC as such, it's our brand new Aerostar reversing ESC. What we found in the development of, uh, actually started with the Tundra initially when I was first developing that and found that I got into a situation where I'd be stuck on the other side of the riverbank. Uh, the only option then in China was to wade in and to recover the model. Uh, I didn't want to do that every time and I can imagine you guys didn't want to keep having to do that too. So we uh, got our heads together and we come up with the reversing Aerostar ESC. Now this lead here, that's the uh, regular throttle cable. Now this second lead that comes off the ESC, this plugs into any AUX channel, basically, or even a gear switch. Uh, basically what you're looking for is just an on-off switch. And what that will do, and I'll demonstrate it in a minute, will switch the motor from a forward turning motion to a backward turning motion at, well, the flick of a switch. Let me show you now. Now I've got the model uh, on the bench. It, it is armed at the moment. Uh, I need it to, to be armed to give you a demonstration. And it's this particular switch. This is my AUX switch that I've got it assigned to. Now watch the rotation of the propeller. So that right there is normal rotation. You can see that it tilted forward, great. And if I bring the throttle down, flick this switch all the way, and now suddenly it's going backwards. Now, a lot of you have been worried about uh, burning out speed controllers if you happen to switch it uh, halfway through the throttle setting or even when it's just in reverse uh, on its own. This will not happen with the RVS speed controllers. We've tested them thoroughly and they work very, very well. Also, another note to point out, if I'm going forward, here we are. Now, I can flick the switch with the throttle still active and it does nothing. It will not do anything until you go down to idle and the motor stops turning. There we go. And now when I throttle up, it's now backwards. So very good built-in safety parameters with the Aerostar RVS ESCs. Now these ones are available in, well they start at a 40 amp and then to 60 and then to 80 amp. So many, many applications for the RVS speed controllers and you will find them in other applicable float plane type models from Durafly and Avios as we go through 2017. So look out for that. Now to give you a demonstration of how it looks and works on the water, you've probably already seen a little bit of footage. If not, here is some more. Uh, this is it with the uh, color tundra that you see in front of me now, just on the water the other day. You can see there as I come along, I flick the switch and I go into reverse. What you've got to watch when you're reversing is that you don't use too much power on floats because the floats will have a habit of digging in. It's just to get you out of trouble. And then once you're out of trouble, flick the switch and away you go. And here you are, here you'll see it on the new Avios Bushmule. I've got differential thrust set up on this for control on the water, but still I retain that reversing function. And here it is being switched into reversing now. Flick the switch back and away she goes again. So there we are ladies and gentlemen, the uh, Aerostar RVS or reversing ESC is available in 40, 60 and 80 amp. A great addition to anybody considering uh, any kind of float plane really that would fit into, into that size. They are extremely handy ESCs, especially if you're looking to fly off water with some great built-in safety parameters. And of course they work very, very well. We've tested them thoroughly and we are very pleased with them. We know that you will be too. So look out for them on the new items page as individual items and also keep an eye out for them in new up and coming Durafly and Avios models. Now of course it's not all just water, if you really wanted you could use the RVS function up in the air. Uh, we wouldn't recommend it, it has been done and it's fine, it's just really they're designed for float flies in mind. But of course, as always, you will do what you want with that, so have some fun. Anyway, be safe, enjoy the RVS uh, Aerostar speed controller and until the next daily, I'll see you then. Stop.